Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to make a line following robot. So we will go through step by step guide that how we can design a perfect line following robot. So let's start. According to me, there are four main steps for making a line following robot. So the first step is your objective. What is the objective of making a line following robot? It is like uh, defining your goal for robot. Second is uh, basic knowledge you have. You must have some basic knowledge about what you are going to do. And then there comes an arena. Uh, knowing about arena is necessary because sometimes you have to follow some uh, certain rules of, uh, of arena. So you must know about, uh, about the track that you are going to uh, run your robot on. The second step is the very important that the selection of components. What type of components you are going to select for your perfectly designed robot. So we will discuss some of uh, very important things in this section. The third section is about assembling. The final and the fourth part of this project is uh, the coding and tuning. In this section we will uh, run our robot, we will test our robot. Let's start with the first step, the objective of the robot. So our basic objective for this project is to smoothly follow the black or a white line. Getting back on the track is the main part. So we have to design an algorithm according to this. Second step is the selection of components. Selection of components is the really important part because we have to design a lightweight smooth running robot. So for this we have to choose components very carefully. So the first one is Arduino board. You can use any Arduino board, UNO, Nano, Mega. I'll recommend you to use uh, Arduino Mega because uh, we are going to use almost 5 higher sensors. So we need more number of input and outputs for this. The next is uh, higher sensor modules. There are so many other sensor modules available but we are using this one. And the next is DC geared motors. Next we have a robot chassis, we are not going to design a robot from scratch, we have to buy a kit and we are using this kit for a robot. The next is wheel that comes with the kit and two rechargeable batteries. I am using these two rechargeable batteries uh, that is uh, 4 to 5 volt and some milliamps. Then we need a caster wheel, some jumper wires and a motor driver. In this project we are using uh, L298 edge bridge. IR sensor modules. Why we are going to use these IR sensor modules? These modules have a very good response and uh, very easy to use. As you can see the pinout configuration we have two IR LEDs. This board uh, will play a very important role because you have to adjust so you have to test your module on any of uh, black or white surface and adjust your pod. Next we have a gear DC motors. These motors have a very high torque but using the motors that comes up with the robot kit because these motors have very low torque these are not actually have a very uh, good running speed so we're not going to use these yellow colored motors there is a reason behind using these motors uh, okay we will see what, what is the reason
can see these motors have the power to resist anything so that's why we're using these motors next is uh, power issues power is also a very important part because uh, I have seen many of the projects that have a mainly they have a power issues uh, so we have two options here either to use these two rechargeable batteries or a lithium ion rechargeable cells both have the same response motor driver L298 to control the speed of the motors we have to use a, a motor driver a bridge between your main board your microcontroller and the motors so for co controlling the speed we are using L298 module here is the pinout configuration we have motor A and motor B where we can will connect our motor pins and then we have a 12 volt and a ground one important part here is the 12 volt in the motor driver will not go directly into the Arduino board we will connect this 12 volt pin to the Arduino V in or we will connect this directly to the battery then we have enable A and enable B these are our PWM pins that uh, will be used for controlling the speed of motor this is the complete circuit diagram for line following robot so we will assemble our robot according to this diagram we have uh, 5 IR sensors connect these modules to any of the analog pins of Arduino and we have to connect the motor driver to the outboard pins be careful uh, while connecting your enable pins to the PWM pins now come on the fourth part the main part of the project the code the coding part so we are not going to use any complex PID based code we are all using PID concept but will only uh, design our algorithm according to this the very first thing is to define our PWM pins our enable pins on the motor driver so 6 and 5 are our enable pins after that we have to define our sensors for this we are going to store our five sensor values into an, an array then another array for converting analog values into digital values then we have a threshold value uh, threshold value is uh, 0 to 5 volt uh, that is around 1024 so we have to define our threshold for our sensors that is 700 then we have to represent our IR sensor sensors into an into a binary representation for the ease of use as you can see if we present our sensor uh, as an as a binary representation so one stands for sensor is on the line and zero the sensor is out of the line then we have to define the deviation uh, I have uh, explained all this code in my article so I'm not going to discuss the whole part the whole code in this video go there and uh, read the specific part why I'm using error and a correction how this formula actually works here we will recall our objective for for this project that was to get back on the line for this we use uh, this command error last is equal to error this is the command that stores the last value of the sensor if the sensor uh, lost the line so it will recall the last error value and get back again on the line These are the standard values that I have tested on my robot. Might be this, these will differ on your case. 
but uh, in many cases they, these will work so you can go to uh, our website maker mac to download the code and uh, download and it is easy not a complex code it is very easy code you can understand it very easily go there and download it and test it in on your robot this was the quick tutorial and i have not discussed so many things in depth because uh, i don't think so we need to discuss each and everything in depth if you need any help go go to the website go to the uh, visit the article and you will find all the necessary information uh, about the code about the components and all other things here is the video of my project my robot that i have made in my uh, in my starting semesters and the best part is i have won that competition so i'm going to giving you this code and best of luck